so here we add all the needed slides for the application so first we can create the slider so it is very easy to create the slider you can use the view pager and pager adapter for creating the slider so for placing the slider here i'm going to create a new activity so create a new activity uh, select an md activity specify the activity name I name it as welcome activity uh, now here the new activity is created so first here I'm going to remove the default action bar of this application so open the resource folder uh, go to values folder open styles to xml and here i'm going to change the theme of the application into light dot no action bar uh, this will remove the default action bar of this application so uh, now go to the activity welcome dot xml so here the root element is a constrained layout so we need a relative layout here So now we need to place a uh, view pager so here I place a view pager inside activity welcome.xml so here the ID of the view pager is view pager uh, width match parent height match parent align parent bottom is not need okay so now go to uh, welcome activity dot java uh, here we need to create some variables first create some variables for view pager i name it as m pager now initialize that variable I cast that one into view page and now find it it is view page uh, now create an integer array I name it as layouts now specify the uh, resource ID of each of the slider layout here so first one is r dot layout dot first slide uh, so now here this integer array contain all the resource ID of our uh, layout slides first slide second third and fourth slide so now we need a pager adapter so for that here i'm going to create another java class uh, with the class name I name it as M pager adapter and this class extends pager adapter so here you have to implement some methods uh, you need to implement these two methods get count uh, is view from object so first here I'm going to create some variables I'm going to create an integer array and it as layouts now create some layout inflator and it as layout inflator now we need some context variable and it as context and now create a constructor for this class and pager adapter uh, we need some parameters for the constructor uh, first one is an integer array layouts second one is the context object now we can initialize these variables from this constructor 
so this dot layout now initialize the context and now we can initialize the layout inflator context dot uh, get system service uh, context uh, here we need the layout inflator service and typecast this one into layout inflator so from the get count method here uh, we can return the size of the integer array so layout dot length uh, so from this method we have to return a boolean so if view equal to object so now we need to override some more method called the first one instantiate item so you have to override this method so here first create some variables for view and use the layout inflator called inflate method uh, specify the layout so here the layouts are available on our array so layouts of position now specify container and last one is a boolean now we need to add this view to the container so container dot call the method add view and pass the view as parameter and finally uh, we have to return the view from this method so return that view uh, we need one more method uh, destroy item Here also create some variables for view. Typecast that one into view. Typecast that object into view. And finally, uh, remove the view from the container. So container dot uh, remove view and pass the view parameter. So now the adapter is ready. Now go to welcome activity dot java. So here we already create variables for view pager and now here uh, we have to create some variables for the adapter m pager adapter and now initialize that variable so m pager adapter equal to new m pager adapter first parameter is the layouts array and second parameter is the context and finally we can set adapter for the view pager set adapter here it is m pager adapter okay now here the slider is ready now we can test it so start some virtual device so now here the virtual device is ready so before going to run the application we have to do one more thing so this application now contains two activity main activity and welcome activity now here the launcher activity is main activity so we have to change that one for that open android manifest.xml now here uh, there are two activities are available welcome activity and main activity now here main activity is the launcher activity so now i am going to change that one so i uh, remove all the indent filter section from the main activity now place it inside welcome activity so now welcome activity is the launcher activity now we can test it uh, now run the application now here the application available on this virtual device so here is the first slide second slide third one and final one 
so now here is our target application so now we uh, successfully create this slide but here you can see here this status bar is transparent but in our case it is not transparent so now we need to make the uh, status bar into transparent for that go to welcome activity dot java uh, so here uh, before set the layout here uh, we have to check some condition if uh, build dot version dot sdk int greater than api 19 in that case we can add a flag uh, so get window dot uh, set flags uh, you can call instead of set flag you can call add flags and specify the flag name window manager dot uh, layout params dot uh, this one flag translucent status otherwise that means it is not uh, it is lesser lesser than api version 19 here the condition is less than or equal to greater than or equal to so if the api version is less than 19 in that case we have to remove that flag so get window dot clear flags the same flag window manager dot uh, layout params this one that's it so now we can test it again and here it is now the status bar is transparent 